feel, don't you, that the most impressive state senator that we are aware of, perhaps the only impressive state senator that we are aware of, well, there's got to be a couple others. We just don't get that much exposure to our legislators these days. But here's Rob Sampson from Wolcott. He is a real live, constitutionally driven conservative Republican the way they were meant to be, the way God made them in the old days. How are you, Rob? I'm doing great, Todd. Glad to join you, and thank you for the uh, excellent intro. And I feel the same way about you. I appreciate your efforts every day to stand for the American system of government and fight to restore this country to the greatness that it deserves. Do you do you wonder, or do you feel like you know what happened to that? It's such a weird thing that if you believe in the American system of government, you are now a stranger in this land. Yes, in fact, you were referred to as the far right. It yes, as if you're on some a regular basis. No, Samson, you're some. You, you, you're not a regular Republican. You're not a moderate. You are a far right conservative radical, and I have to explain yes. to them that. No, I believe in the American system of government. I believe in freedom and opportunity. I believe in the words that are in the Declaration of Independence, that we are born with natural rights and uh, we should be treated equally under the law and that uh, we have the right to pursue our, our dreams and our happiness. That's mm. the purpose of America. Um, that's not a far-right concept, uh, and anyone who does uh, is completely out of touch with our history um, and the moral way for government and a country to operate. You just gave me a great idea for what I'm going to... I don't know how it popped into my head, but this is what I'm going to say to people from now on when they tell me I'm far right or ask me if I'm far right. I'll say, well, is it far right to believe in the Declaration of Independence? Right. And then they can see if they remember it and think about all the glorious things that are said inside of it. That's what's funny is that they don't realize that they've been tricked into walking away from some of the most beautiful revolutionary thoughts in terms of moving humanity forward that have ever been conceived and implemented. You're absolutely correct. And and also the only moral uh, system of government that has ever existed based on individual freedom for individuals, equal protection regardless of uh, the where or how you were born. We have no class system, no caste system, no feudalism, no kings, no lords, no slaves. I understand that the country was born uh, with slavery in existence, but we are also the country that fleshed that out of our system over time. Uh, it's a stain that will live with us, but also we should remember that uh, America also did the right thing and abolished slavery. Uh, but the ideas that are contained in that Declaration of Independence are the only moral system of government that uh, could possibly exist, one based in, in freedom and individual liberty. Given that that's the perspective through which you come at politics, give us your take on where we're at as a state and a nation and the whole COVID virus thing. Wow, that's a big question. Uh, we certainly have lost our way, Todd. Um, and sadly, it's because I think that uh, the progressive uh, ideological um, you know, political philosophy uh, is a trap. I, I believe that it is very attractive for... Uh, people and they get caught up in this trap. Um, if you are not successful and you see other people in the world that are, it is very tempting when someone comes along to you and says, you never had a chance. The world is unfair. I can fix that for you. I am going to, if you elect me, I am going to pass laws that punish those successful people because they took something that was rightfully yours and I'm going to give some of it to you. And that's the dangerous trap. Um, and you see it being used in identity politics, um, you know, by, uh, and, and, and that is what is happening in Minneapolis, by the way. That is identity politics run amok. That is people who have been divided by political forces who honestly believe that they have had their freedom and opportunity taken from them by other people, um, when in fact they're being exploited for political reasons. Wait, uh, explain that a little more. I don't follow. Who are the people who are saying they think they've had their freedom of, and opportunity taken away who, who you disagree with? The people who are okay. rioting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, what happened to, um, and I forgive me, I forgot the gentleman's name. Is it Floyd? Yes, George, George Floyd. Floyd. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes. 
um, it, that's a terrible tragedy, and there's no denying that. That should never happen. The police officer that's responsible should, um, you know, be held to the highest standard and uh, should be convicted of a crime if he's found guilty, uh, which it seems pretty likely he will. Um, but that does not excuse the behavior that followed. There's no justification for rioting and looting in the street. Um, and sadly, um, you know, the progressive news media and a lot of Democrat politicians will tell you there's complete justification for that. And it makes absolutely no sense. Um, but that is just them trying to pitch the same argument that um, it is a righteous um, type of rioting and looting uh, based on the fact that th this segment of our population has been oppressed. Uh, and that's just not, not a proper justification for anything. And I think the premise is wrong. All right, Rob Sampson, hold on, because I want to I want to challenge you on that a little bit. After we get a quick traffic and weather update, we're going to go off to the Brown Payne Harrison Scott Traffic Center. We're talking to Senator Rob Sampson, by the way, and we'll check in with Mike Allen to find out what's going on out on the roads. Hello there, Mike. Hello, Todd. This traffic report is sponsored by Hint Water, and uh, no hints needed this afternoon to get around Hartford 84 and 91 and Route 2 remain in good shape. Uh, there is one road closure. It's in Franklin, Route 207, closed at the Lebanon Town Line. It's a car versus utility pole accident, so uh, repair of the pole and lines and so on could take a little while. Uh, there's a little road work uh, extending through the weekend, actually right through uh, all of next week. The left lane is closed on eastbound 84 between exits 70 and 71. Hint is pure water infu infused with surprisingly true fruit flavors, including watermelon, blackberry, and cherry. No sugar, no sweeteners, no calories. Available in your local grocery store or at drinkhint.com. Hint, water with a true uh, with a touch of true fruit flavor. Traffic and weather together on the 8th WTIC News Talk 1080. WTIC Weather. Here's your forecast. It'll be a shower overnight, a warm night, 66 degrees, the low tomorrow. That shower still around in the morning, but then gone. And it'll be a nice day with lots of sunshine. Not all sunshine, but some good sun. High 82 tomorrow, cooler on Sunday. Just a beautiful early summer day with a high 70 degrees. Right now, 76 at WTIC. Talking to Rob Sampson, we'll wrap up with him, take some phone calls, maybe do some more rant line. Having a good time today. So, Rob, I feel that the the reason that Bernie Sanders caught on and has become a powerful force in left-wing anti-American politics and why Donald Trump caught on and became president of the United States and why urban dwellers feel that they've got a lot of frustration and a lot of things to be angry about, I see... A similar kind of dynamic going on where the, the, there are so many special interest groups that have taken control of political process that the process has become non-functional. And therefore, there is not a proper political response to police violence, for example, or poverty or bad education or whatever the, you know, the lack of job opportunities in urban America that because of the way the Democrats rig politics by giving benefits to special classes of people and blowing everybody else off, that that leaves, that builds frustration. What's your thought on that? I think I agree completely. I think that's what I was really driving at, was to say that the progressive political ideology lends itself to more and more government and the great lie that the government is there to help you, and not just to help individuals who need help, but help you in a way that, creates a moral justification for very bad, very anti-American policy, including redistribution of wealth. Um, as the Bernie Sanders anti-American socialist policy that you described, that's exactly what it is. Free health care, free college, all put together in a package that says the reason for these things is the justification on moral grounds that you are a victim and we must punish other people and that's why you should support me. I think that that is the the hook that catches a lot of people unfortunately. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to be clear on that. And and lack of quality education, not teaching American history and and the values of the constitution and the enlightenment and the declaration of independence and all that, the fact that people aren't fluent in that when they come of age is is 
the, a fundamental foundational premise to the ability of the leftists to be able to make the impact they've had. Yeah, the left has been amazing at controlling the messaging in our country to stifle any appreciation for our founding documents. I mean, a, a discussion of the founding of this country immediately uh, results in a response about slavery. In fact, I, I, I felt that when I was speaking with you uh, from the beginning, that I had, I had to make uh, sure that I covered that uh, to protect myself from being misunderstood, because unfortunately the left has become so good at making the founding of this country synonymous with slavery and the founders synonymous with slaveholders, when in fact that may be true, but there are a lot of other truths about the founding of this country uh, which well, they're... are beautiful. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't subscribe to p looking to the past for explanations of everything going on today. If all you do is focus on the past, which is all the left does, or diversions, shiny objects that they can throw up into the sky to catch people's eyes, then you miss the present. And there's a lot of stuff going on in the present with regard to race and cities. That's my whole point, is You're that these yeah, things are no being mismanaged. To, go, uh, to revisit slavery, you're absolutely right. The modern um, state of America is that Democrat mayors of big cities uh, and Democrat governments, and it, you know, on every level, are essentially creating um, situations that are not um, conducive to uh, opportunity and freedom for the residents of their their uh, you know constituents. There you go. So if anyone is diverting your attention to some wrong in the past and trying to make that responsible for the present, no, we've had trillions of dollars spent and fifty years of democratic control over urban America, and the results get worse all the time and lead to riots. By the way, of the residents of those cities, essentially against the Democrats who operate those cities. Not even essentially, just plain and simple. When you are saying Black Lives Matter to your police department, you're objecting to the effects of a rigged political system that has taken away the ability of you to get what's rightfully yours. And that's like some respect from your police department. But unions and all these other election rigging schemes and manipulations of power make it so things don't work out right. Okay, we got that said. Anything else you want us to know? Go ahead. Well, I would just say that is extremely well said, and that is a message that's very, very important for freedom-loving Americans across this country to make sure that people understand that the results... Uh, of, of, you know, what happens in the cities and the riots and so forth in Minnesota are a result of those Democrat policies. They are not a result of America's history like the left wants to paint them. All right. State Senator Rob Samson from Wilcott. Always good to talk with you, sir. Thanks for the opportunity, Todd. Take it easy. All righty. Talk to you soon. Rob Samson, a voice of clarity. How about that guy? I love listening to him talk.